of audio. Let me tell you about Holly Frazier. She's a 15-year-old from Rhode Island. She has recruited 35 teenagers from seven different states to help Matt Bevan win the Senate race in Kentucky today. The teenagers have knocked on over 2,500 homes in their first two days on the ground. They have made over 1,500 phone calls to potential voters. They have taken time out of their lives to come to Kentucky to make a difference in this particular race. They are learning that even teenagers can make a difference in the political process. How great is that? How how fantastic wow. is that? Can we get her on the phone? Holly Frazier, 15-year-old, who's currently on the ground today. Is is Matt Bevan on today? Yes. Yeah, it's his, uh, it's the big day. Today's Hour the day three, day. and today's the day you got to get out and do we, vote for Matt do Bevan. We have, do we have him on the air more than one other time between now and September? Or is this it? No, we'll have him on more. He wins no, today. I mean, he's allowed to come on even when he's not running if he mm-hmm. were to lose. So we can have him on either way. But, you know, the, the hopes uh, you have, the hopes are high. You, know? <laughs> you don't think, you <laughs> you don't have think no so. You have no confidence in this. You have no confidence in this. I want I want Matt Bevan to talk you off the ledge. Yeah, that's, I will that's my goal today is for Matt. He's fourteen to, points behind. He has come in the from latest 50, poll. Yeah. fifty yeah. points behind, and this is as close as he's been. I mean, Mitch is, McConnell was ring. twenty points behind when he was running against the incumbent back mm-hmm. in like nineteen forty one. I don't know that he was twenty points behind on election day, two days before the election. Ted Cruz was nine points behind David Dewhurst. He, no, he was 11 points behind. He won by nine. I, you, you can scrunch up your nose all you want. Mm-hmm. Those were the results. Really? The, those were the polls right hmm. before. Tell me about, um, uh, really? tell me about Ben really? Sass. He won by 15. No, he won by 27. He won by, I believe, 15 points more than he was, than the last poll. Do you have a poll sure. that shows that's not true? What? Stu? So, uh, yeah, 15 what? points, a 15 point swing, he wins. Um, yes. Let's see. Uh, I have a poll here. Latest Ted Cruz poll. Ted, Cr- Ted Cruz. Uh, Ted okay, Cruz. here we go. Here, this is a good one. All right. Uh, Tea Party favorite Ted Cruz is leading David Dewhurst 47 <laughs> to 38 in the GOP runoff. Okay, that's a different poll than we saw. Because <laughs> yes. we were told, right? Do you yeah, remember, I, you remember this, right, Glenn? It you was. probably told a lot of things. In your, in we were no, told. No, no, and it was well, true. We saw it, it on the true. air. We saw it on the we air. We saw it. We heard it from all of the GOP. I totally remember talking about it. Cruz leads going into Tuesday. That's not a good one. Uh, he's up by ten in this particular poll. That's another one. Oh, now, he must was, have been a, see, must I have been a just, week before. I think you're. Uh, you're. I will tell you this: mm-hmm. that Mitch McConnell was twenty points behind. He was twenty points behind. The Prove last, that wrong. the Prove last that wrong, poll, Mr. the Smarty last Wayne. poll that he had in like 1973 or mm-hmm. whatever. <laughs> the last poll that he that he had before he went in, he was twenty points behind. Like I'm not saying like I. He, Matt Bevan is on a really good trajectory here. I mean, you're you're right. It's yeah, just, he may he may not the, have enough runway. The run with the runway is an issue, mm-hmm. and the rules are an issue. I mean, this is not. If, if, it was a, right. if it was a runoff state, I'd have a lot more confidence here. A lot of confidence. It's just tough. I mean, he's 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 in an, a very difficult uphill battle. However, he's doing a great job. I mean, you know, when you have a, the guy who's leading the Senate running constant ads about you saying you're going to cockfights. Uh, I mean, oh, no, I know. I mean, I it's know. bad. It's such a stupid attack, and it, the, the fact that anyone would believe it is, is amazing so, so to me. Let me ask Might as well call him a, a wizard. So let me ask you it's this. so bizarre. Let me ask you this. Yeah. You are voting for Mitch McConnell, and you know that he's 14 points ahead or 12 points ahead, whatever it is. Are you that passionate that you're going to get out and really vote for Mitch McConnell today? Nah. No, why, well, why bother? If you are, if I don't know. I don't, I'm not in the mind. I'm not in the. I, I I don't know the thought process of the McConnell voter, but you know, some of them may be excited. I, I don't know why they would be. I don't know why anybody would want to vote for him in the first place, let alone be excited to vote for him. He's awful. He's tell, awful. Tell me, what he's he awful. What tell me about what, Tell me about a guy who's got 15 year old kids from Rhode Island organizing other teenagers to go down and yeah, work for a weekend. That's great to knock on doors. Come on. No, it's great. Uh, you know, look. I think if There's this was if there was here. another month right now, I would I would be very confident in Matt Bevin winning this thing. It's just it's tough. I mean, he's been beat up by the local media constantly. They want the establishment person here. The latest poll just came out showing Mitch McConnell behind the Democrat. So why would the media be fair to Matt Bevin? Why? They've got a candidate that's probably going to lose Kentucky to a Democrat. This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to them. Mitch McConnell is, is, the, is the absolute dream of the media establishment. He's the absolute dream of everyone who wants a Democratic senator to come from Kentucky. 
So why would they possibly give Matt Bevin a fair shake? I mean, you know, there's a lot to overcome here, and that's the only reason I get pessimistic at times. Well, the only thing you really have to overcome is uh, Rand Paul's endorsement. Yeah, well, that's that that's the help. only thing you really have that to overcome. I, I, I don't it's, even begin to understand that that's a and, tough one. and never will really yeah, that's a tough one. quite understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, I believe, and if it's not this time, it will be the next time. Um, but I think it's going to be this time. I think there's a chance, a real good chance. I mean, you, you can say what you want about Ted Cruz. I don't know where we got those numbers, Pat, do you? I don't, I don't um, either. No. But it uh, must have been from like a week before or whatever. But I will tell you this. Ben Sass had 15 points. 15 points added. Yeah. 15 points. A 15-point swing. I, I really think in, I mean, in today's world. It is possible. It is possible. Yeah. In the old days when it was not, it wasn't passion politics. You know, those kinds of swings weren't possible. But it, you're dealing with Kentucky, where Kentuckians play their cards. I lived in Kentucky. I lived in Louisville for a while. They play their cards close to the vest. They don't They don't get involved in all of this. And, and I think also, on top of that, people don't want to say anymore. On top of that, you have passion. I'd walk through a wall of fire today to go vote for oh, Matt so Benn. Why well, yeah, walk so through I. a wall of fire for that? And uh, I don't. I mean, I don't even know Wish if I'd get could. out of bed if it was Mitch McConnell. Be like, oh, you know, I, he's gonna win anyway. That's the way I, I really think that's the way a lot of people will feel. He's gonna win anyway. He's 15 points ahead. What's the big deal? I don't have to show up. Yeah, I'm really hoping uh, Matt's gonna be able to speak some comfort to us. Maybe he's got internal polling sh- shows him up by 30. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't put a lot in the polls. I'm sorry, I just don't put a lot in the polls. I know you do, Stu, because you're a numbers guy. But I, I just, I, I don't know. I just, I have nothing to go on here. I'm not, I'm not speaking like I, I know anything uh, about this. I'm usually wrong on politics. That's why we don't like to talk about, you know, who wins, who loses, because I'm usually wrong. But I'll tell you, I've never met anybody like Matt Bevan. I think it'll be a crime, a crime. Um, he's, obviously, just, he's obviously the better candidate. Oh he's obviously gosh. a guy who would be a better senator. He'd be more effective. What has Mitch McConnell brought you? I mean, look at what this guy's record is. It's a giant zilch. You want this guy? No, you want I another wish it was giant? Zero. I, I, I wish it was a zero. If it was a zero, it would be more positive than what he's done. But I mean, you think about just people keep making this argument of, well, he's in the leadership. So what? He's lead. leading. Where is he leading you? Just because someone's in the front of the line walking you off of a cliff does not mean that you should be praising that role. Uh, the Pied Piper was leading people too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stu is. He's, <laughs> no, I'm he's trying like, to remember okay, that story. There's a Pied Piper. Remember, did he, he came, like a bunch of mice out of town or no, something. He, yes. That's what he did first. He okay. led the mice out of town. Right, and he yeah, was okay. like, "That's great." And then the, the then the mice were gone, and everybody said, "Well, we don't have to pay the Pied Piper." And he's like, "Okay, that's fine. Don't pay me. Don't worry about it." And then he used his pipe, and he led all of the children, and he, I believe, he led them off a cliff, didn't he? I don't remember, remember the end of the story. Took them, a much took... darker story than I remember. Well, I if, remember... It's a, if it's a no, grim it's... story, it's, the, all it of the... probably did. <laughs> Every single fairy tale has been yeah, Disney-fied. Mm. Yeah, those those pages were really... burned out of the book I had. Yeah, <laughs> there's a big warning label on it. Every everything had been Disneyfied. All of these stories were supposed to teach. We're supposed to scare the crap out of our kids to teach them a lesson. Go ahead, go ahead. A don't pay the piper. You always have to pay the piper. Well, there's the Pied Piper story for you. Why do you always have to pay? Because the piper will come, and he'll, in that case, take your children and lead them <laughs> really off a cliff. That at all? Yeah, I think I definitely got the Disneyfied version of that story. I thought yeah, he was like an exterminator. He's he was. like the Orkin guy in my he memory. He was. He was. Mm-hmm. He was a guy who could who could hypnotize and and bring everybody. And I'll clean up. I'll fix your problems for you. I mean, it's a, there's another there's another one. Anyone who says I'll fix all of your problems for you, run, run. I found the poll, by the way, that we were referring to. Mm-hmm. It was from the Dewhurst campaign. They released an internal poll uh, that was taken two days before the runoff, just like we said. Um, and he it said he it said David Dewhurst leads fifty to forty one percent among voters who said they plan to vote on election day. Yeah, so he's a- up by nine. 
and then he won by, Dewhurst, by 11. It, it, it was still, a Dewhurst yeah. thing. Yeah. So still, we I mean, were taken I, in by that. Yeah. Still, though, it's a, you know, it's a poll. Yeah. I mean, the, the bottom line is that these last minute changes do happen. And, you know, it, it, it They're does rare, come but they do happen. Yeah, it's rare, and it only comes from the side that's passionate. So I mean that, that's right, is, and, and I think the passion is with Bevin. You no, I think, think no the passion? There's well, no, no there's no doubt that the passion is with him. Yeah, I mean, and the and the passion is growing with him. Look at the poll numbers. The passion is growing with him. I mean, who's who do you trust to take uh, Common Core apart? Really, seriously, who do you trust to take Common Core apart? Uh, Mitch McConnell? No, or Matt Bevin? Um, hmm. I'm going to have to think about that. Oh, no, I don't have to think about that one. 